Imagine opening a massive Excel sheet with hundreds, maybe even thousands of rows, numbers everywhere, sales figures, deadlines, percentages, grades, all just black text on a white grid. But now imagine this instead. With a couple of clicks, the important numbers pop. High sales turn green, deadlines that are overdue glow red, top performers shine, and the problem areas stick out instantly. That's the power of conditional formatting in Excel. It makes your data visual, clear, and actually useful. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know to make your plain spreadsheets and turn them into smart dashboards and then tell a story at a glance. So stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll be able to make Excel do the hard work of spotting patterns and problems for you. Let's start with a quick example. So picture this, you got a list of student exam scores. You want to instantly see who scored above 85 and who's struggling below 80. Here's how fast you can do it. All right, in Excel, we're gonna select the cells that have our test scores. And then we're gonna, on the home ribbon, we're gonna go ahead and go to conditional formatting and we're gonna select highlight cells rules, and then we're gonna select greater than, and we're gonna select anything with a grade higher than 85, and we're gonna fill that in with a green fill with dark green text indicating a good score. And then with that same data set highlighted, we're gonna go back to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, and then less than, and then we're gonna select less than 80, white, red fill with dark red text. And there are other options too. If you don't want this, you can just do red text, but we're gonna want something that just pops a little bit so that way we can visualize our data in a very good way. And we'll press okay. Now in literally 10 seconds, you can see the class's performance without crutching a single formula. That's the kind of visual clarity we're talking about today. So if you found that satisfying already, drop a quick like on the video. It really helps others find these Excel tips. All right, let's break it down step by step. Conditional formatting is all about the rules. So if a rule says, if this condition is true, then format the cell this way. Think of it like traffic lights for your data. Let's start with the highlight sales rule. This is the simplest starting point in Excel for conditional formatting. And you can highlight cells that are greater than a number, less than a number, between two values, equal to something, or even contain certain texts. So the highlight cells rule can be very efficient and very quick and easy to use when we're looking for very specific data. Next, let's look at the top bottom rules. So in our Excel sheet, let's say we have 100 employees here with individual productivity scores and you wanna instantly see the top 10 performers. So what we'll do is we'll go to conditional formatting. First, we'll uh, select our cells here and we'll go to conditional formatting, top bottom rules, the top 10 items. And since our top 10 are gonna be the most efficient in their rules, we'll go ahead and fit green fill with dark green text and we'll press okay. And once we press okay, uh, we have a kind of a big data set here. I'll go ahead and press data and then filter. And then we'll click on our little uh, drop down right here and we'll sort largest to smallest. And we see our first top 10 are instantly highlighted based on that conditional formatting rule. But let's say we don't want just the top 10 of our highest score. We wanna change our search parameters to let's say the top 20. So if we go back into conditional formatting, we'll go down to the bottom manage rules and we'll get this little pop-up box, our conditional formatting rules manager. And we see our rules that we set into place. We want the top 10. We'll format it with a green cell and dark green text and we apply it to our specific data set. But we're gonna go ahead and select edit and then we're gonna select this to the top 20. We'll press okay and we'll press apply and we'll press okay again. And now we see we have a lot more highlighted cells because we changed the parameters. So this remains flexible. You don't have to pick the top 10, the top five. You can pick whatever number you choose, or you can base this off of percentages as well. You could do the top 10%, bottom 10%, whatever search parameters and conditional formatting parameters that you need to put into place, you can do that within Excel very easily. Next up is gonna be getting visual with color scales. So a color scale takes your numbers and applies a gradient to that cell. Low numbers might be shaded red, middle numbers yellow, and high numbers green. This is perfect for spotting patterns in Excel with our data set. So for this purpose, we're gonna go ahead and use the same example that we had in Excel with our employee names and their productivity scores. So we're gonna go ahead and select our data set again, control shift down, we'll go to conditional formatting and we'll select color scales. And we can see we have a list of all these different color scales, all sorts of different colors, or we can even change the rules and select our own within the formatting menu. 
But for this case, we're gonna use um, the first option here, which is green, yellow, red. This is gonna apply green to the highest score and red to the lowest scores. So we'll go ahead and press that. And now we see we have a scale based on the, the score and the color associated with it. So let's go ahead and filter this from largest to smallest. And we can kind of see the gradient change as we go along and the scores decrease. So we start off super green and then as our performance goes down we see those numbers get more red and red and red as we get to the bottom and i love this because it's essentially like a heat map within excel and it gives you a very quick look at what scores are highest what's the lowest and you can spot patterns within excel very quickly using this formatting tool now it's time for one of my favorite conditional formattings and that's going to be data bars so data bars put little bars inside your cells and the length of the bar corresponds to the value so it's like having a little tiny bar our chart without actually making a full physical chart. So again, we're gonna use the same example that we had before with our employee names and their productivity score. And then we're gonna be able to see instantly who is crushing it and who has a little bit more to be desired with their productivity score. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, what we're gonna do is again, select our data set, control shift down, we'll go to home, conditional formatting, and then we're gonna select data bars. And we can select different types of gradient fill here, depending on what color is the most appropriate or makes the most sense for us. Uh, you can do solid fill, or like I said before, you have that gradient option. You can also select uh, more rules. So we can add a border. We're, we're not gonna do that in this case, but you can also choose which direction you want the bar to go as well. So you can do right to left, left to right, or follow the context of the data. Or we don't have it in this example, but if you do have negative values as well, you can format those as that, that way it shows up as a different color, not to get confused with anything. And then we can press okay. And now we see we have these really cool bar charts and it's a very quick visual of like, all right, who's maxing out? Who is leaving a lot more to be desired with their productivity score? This is one of my favorites because it makes number heavy spreadsheets just a little bit more intuitive and easier to read. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and clear out our formatting for this example. We'll press control shift up and we didn't have any formatting in D4. So we're gonna get that taken out and then we're gonna select clear rules and you have two options. If you wanna just remove the rules from the specific cells, you can do that. Or if you don't have any other conditional formatting on your spreadsheet, you can also do it removed from the entire sheet. Since I don't have anything else on this sheet, I'm gonna go ahead and select remove um, rules from the entire sheet and we see that gets rid of all of our conditional formatting that we have in place. And with that said, let's go ahead and look at icon sets. That's gonna be the last of the built-in options. And with the icon sets, you can add arrows, traffic lights, stars, flags, you name it. And we can see all of those listed here. Um, we can see different directions. We can see shapes, red light, green light, which are <laughs> kind of cool. And then we have different indicators. We can also add red flags. Uh, so maybe you have a list of your X's that you keep in Excel. You can add green flags or red flags, depending on how that relationship went, but that's up to you. And then we can go ahead and select different ratings as well, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and select our full data set. We'll go into conditional formatting. We'll go into icon sets and we can kind of see preemptively what these look like. I think I like the directional arrows for this example. I like this because this gives us a good indication of where everyone stands with their scores, whether who's trending up, who is kind of just maintaining in the middle, and then who also is not performing up to par based on these red arrows that we see here. And this isn't just useful for productivity scores with employees. This could be, you know, showing a trend in sales or profit or revenue. And you can see those arrows going up staying flat or going down depending on those totals that we conditionally format. And this really helps us make our worksheet read like a dashboard. These visualizations are really intuitive and they help tell a story behind our data. So keep that in mind when you use conditional formatting. It's a very powerful tool to help tell the story of the underlying data that we're trying to present and understand. And that's the basics of conditional formatting in Excel. But honestly, where conditional formatting really shines is when you start customizing. So let's go ahead and level this up a little bit. All right, so don't worry, I'm ke still keeping this simple, no complex formulas, just powerful tricks that you can apply in Excel today. And keeping consistent with the example we've been using, let's say I have a big list of employee names and you need to make sure nobody's name is entered in twice. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of my employees' names, press Control Shift down, We'll go to conditional formatting, select highlight cells rules, and then we'll select duplicate values. Any cell that has duplicate values, we're gonna go ahead and highlight with a light red fill and dark red text. We'll press okay. And 
Sweet, look at that. We see that our data set does have duplicates in there. These are easily identifiable, so that way if we need to go in and make an edit with our data, remove anyone, or get rid of anything, these repeats glow instantly. Another one of my favorites is dynamic highlighting with dropdowns. So here's a pro move that makes your sheets interactive. Let's say we have a dropdown menu in our Excel worksheet where you can select a specific product. And we see we have a list of all of our different products here with the product name. All right, to get this one to work, we're gonna go ahead and select our entire data set right here. We'll go conditional formatting and we'll select new rule. And then down at the bottom of our rule types, we'll select use a formula to determine which cells to format. And then we're going to go ahead and press equals. And then we'll select our product. We'll just get rid of this little lock right here so it stays dynamic. And then we'll press equals to our drop down list. And then for format, we'll just go ahead and select green, we'll press OK, and then we'll press OK again. And now we see, depending on what we have here, we can select different items from our dropdown list and each one will highlight based on what we select from our dropdown. So this is really cool because suddenly your whole table responds to when you change the dropdown. And that's how you impress your boss and your peers by using Excel conditional formatting. And that's the magic of conditional formatting in Excel. It can turn raw numbers into instant insights. And with that said, let's do a quick recap so all of this sticks. First off, we have the highlight cell rules, which we can spot key values fast. Then we have the top bottom rules, which we can find outliers instantly. We have the color scales and heat maps for patterns. We have the data bars and mini bar charts within the cells. And then we have the icon sets, which gives you a dashboard style visual. And then some of the advanced tricks, we can highlight duplicates, interactive highlights, but don't overdo it. Always check your ranges, watch your references. Conditional formatting is all about turning numbers into meaning. Instead of drowning in data, you can see the story right away. All right, so now it's your turn. Open up one of your spreadsheets and try adding just one conditional formatting rule. Maybe highlight overdue dates or color your top five sales. You'll be surprised how much easier it is to read your own data after you apply the conditional formatting. So if this video helped you, hit that like button. It tells YouTube that this was valuable and it helps more people discover these tips. And if you wanna keep building your Excel skills, subscribe to the channel. We've got more beginner-friendly practical tutorials coming your way every week and drop a comment too what's the first thing you're going to try with conditional formatting i'd love to hear how you use it so thanks for watching and remember excel doesn't have to be boring rows and columns with a little formatting magic your data can come alive we'll see you in the next video